Now Eyewitness News is taking you inside the mafia. Today admitted mob star Anthony de Saint Saint Laurent was sentenced to seven years behind bars for a murder for hire plot that was never carried out. Aging and in poor health, he appeared in court for the first time in six months. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been following this story for years. He joins us now live outside federal court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Anthony St. Laurent, the once feared mobster with a reputation of a violent temper, broke down in tears today, pleading with the judge to go easy on him so he can spend his final years with family. Anthony the Saint St. Laurent has already spent about a dozen years behind bars recently. Today, the 70-year-old admitted mobster, seen here in exclusive Target 12 video from 2009, was given seven more after pleading guilty in a murder-for-hire case. Prosecutor William Ferland had asked for 10 years. I think it's a fair sentence, a just sentence, and we're satisfied with that. Investigators say St. Laurent tried to hire hitmen to gun down rival mobster Robert Bobby DeLuca. The attempt never happened because the FBI was listening in on the solicitation. Target 12 obtained those recordings here. Prosecutors say St. Laurent claims he had the permission of then mob boss Luigi Baby Shacks Minocchio to wipe out DeLuca. No, 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 no. In court, St. Laurent was in a wheelchair and on oxygen. His attorney, Olin Thompson, telling a judge his client's health is so bad, any sentence could be a death sentence. How did he take it? Well, he, uh, you know, you were there, you saw him. Um, he was upset, uh, but at the same time, uh, he committed a serious crime. And, uh, and I think Judge Smith took everything into consideration and gave a fair sentence. In court, St. Laurent told the judge that that murder for hire plot was just actually his attempt to scare DeLuca. St. Laurent has already served one year of that sentence. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.